I'm super excited to share with you that in 2026, we are transitioning to a new whiteboard system at Chintam. We want to bring participation of students at the center stage of this learning experience that we have. So we developed a little software that actually suits our need. And I want to show this to you today so that students and teachers can understand how this will work. The main thing to keep in mind is that we want to bring in participation from both the students and the teacher as a metric at the center of the software. Let me show you how it works. So essentially what you do, and right now we are in beta testing this, so we are not allowing external people to sign up. So I'm just going to show this to you. This is, um, I'll just log in with the, with the account, with the teacher account. So this is a teacher account. So uh, this is a teacher account and we can obviously create a room here or we can join a room. We can also look at past boards. So several boards are there in the, from the past classes. Um, I'll just create a room. So let's say geometry and I will allow anyone to join. I will make it a multi-board. So let's create the room here. And the only thing that you need to join the room is this nine character code that is at the top left. So I'll just share the copy the code and I will share the code here. So from the students end, I will just put the code at the code box H R E T K H Y. So I'll click on join and once I click on join, I can just put the name, let's say, uh, let's say Shoten and I'll click on join session. So essentially I have joined each user gets a board. So there are multiple boards in the room. Right now the faculty's board is in focus. So you can see there is a focus mode. The faculty's board is in focus, but faculty can transfer the focus to the student. So as usual, the faculty can do stuff on the board, can write things, obviously, and um, he can type in stuff. And he can type in a little bit of math. So maybe x squared plus 2x plus 5, something like this. And we can select an equation. We can select objects and make it larger or smaller. Simple stuff that's available. There's a little bit of 3D tools also available. So you can do some amount of 3D stuff as well. You can definitely put images inside the system. So maybe you can put an image like this. And you can select the image, of course. And you can move it around and you can sort of make it smaller, larger, whatever you want. The same thing is visible at the student's end, which is pretty great. The student can see all of these things. Now, what I'll do next is that I will post a quiz inside the class. This is something that we will be transitioning into. Right now, we have pre-class and post-class quiz. We want to bring it inside the class. Like after every 20 minutes, there can be a little pop quiz. So let's put a pop quiz. So let's say, uh, suppose I want to put this quiz. What is the area of a square with side length five? So I post the quiz. And as soon as I post the quiz, the teacher is able to see that Shotten, the student, is trying the problem. And the student can see the problem in his board. So he can write the answer. Let's say it's 25. I'll submit the answer. And right now the teacher has to share the results. Once the teacher shared the results, the student can see whether it is correct or incorrect and we can close everything and we can get back to the business. So the pop quizzes will be punctuating the entire classroom experience. That's what we are trying to do. The next thing is also quite interesting. We have integrated a little chat. So I'll just uh, remove some of this stuff so that this kind of is valuable. So let's say I remove all of these and I put a little bit of 
you know letters here a and a and of course the area is a square and um, we put a little bit of text let's say the area of a square is side times side so this is just a demo data of course so what's going to happen is that the board will be the software will be able to read the data in the board and it can post chat so we want to check the understanding of the student from time to time so if i click on post chat as a teacher i can give some information let's say the age average age group average age group is let's say uh 12 years and the topic that is getting taught is let's say area of squares now it takes this as a prompt it also takes the board work that we have done so far as a prompt and if i hit on start chat it basically starts a chat in the student end so you can see in the student end there's a little bit of chat window that has opened now I can ask the question. So uh, it's saying that okay, what do you, what is the main idea? What is, is, is that the teacher was trying to explain? To you? So this is maybe area of a square. So every student gets a different chat. So that's absolutely right. The whiteboard is all about area of a square. Great job spotting that. Now looking at the drawing at, on the board, can you tell me what the letter A represents in the square? Okay, maybe the student says the letter A is the side length of the square so the chart obviously doesn't go on forever we have thought like a small amount of time maybe one or two minutes just between the lecture the student receives a chat and is he's able to uh, communicate and understand and obviously at the end of this you also want to give a score of on the understanding so if i end the chat now the student's chat will also end and um i can close this and the understanding score is then posted to me and as a teacher i will be able to see it and then i can address whatever difficulty the student was having so this is the second point of participation first point was the pop quiz the second point was this thing where you talk to a bot on the topic that has that is being discussed and you get an understanding score on the basis of that. So maybe a couple of these chats inside the session. The third point of this entire process is joint board work by the student and the teacher. So right now the teacher is working on the board. The student is able to see it. And I, if, whenever the student is in, the teacher is in focus, the student is able to see whatever is happening in the board of the teacher. We will now go to the board of the student. That is the whole idea. We want the student to participate and do things on his board and co-work with the teacher. So what the teacher can do is he can release the focus from his own board and then put the focus on the student's board. So the student obviously can then write on his own board. He can go ahead and write on the board and then he can obviously produce the shapes that he wants and he can go ahead and write something type in something and so on once this is done from the student's end the teacher on his end is able to point on stuff on the board and write on the board as well the teacher can also write on the board and then that's like a joint collaborative board work all of this is getting measured pop quizzes the chat with the bot on the topic that is being taught and the joint board work and together all of these three components make the participation matrix for the teacher and the student so we are actually encouraging our teachers at chinta to make the participation score higher the students are also encouraged to do the same tell me if you have what what you think about this new upgrade and if you have your own ideas about a joint collaborative system of learning. Participation first, that is the mantra. I hope our students will like this system and it will be leading to more effective learning. Thank you for watching this video. Check the link in the description for the wonderful 
Olympiad research and leadership programs that we have. We work really hard toward it and I'm sure it'll be useful for many of you. Thank you. Bye.